What's up, what's up? What's up, what's up? What's up, everybody? Uh-uh, y'all. I promise you, that's not a booger in my nose. My allergies are kicking up. So I have to use this Afrin. But the, but the, the green one leaves like a residue in your nose. So when y'all be thinking I be having boogers, I promise y'all, it's the residue. Ah. Uh, it's the residue. Listen, look, if you don't use Afrin, do not start now. <laughs> Afrin is the worst. That stuff is like addictive. Like my nose will stop up just so it could use some Afrin. But yeah, y'all. Uh, no, but seriously, it's crazy. Y'all, my allergies are kicking my butt today. For so y'all that don't know, I'm actually allergic to Tito and Taco. Like you can see my eyes are red. I'm allergic to Tito Taco. Hold on, let me get some tissue. Ugh. All right, y'all. <laughs> y'all, so people don't know, I am allergic to Tito and Taco. And we had to find that out the hard way. So I have to wear long sleeves when I play with them. I have to wash my hands immediately. I can't touch my face. None of that. My eyes get red. They close up. I break out. So Axel was just on the ground rolling around with Tito and Taco. And then she came and jumped on me. So all of that like dog got on my face. <laughs> like literally, all of this just shut down. So my eyes are red and that's why I was trying to use my little Afrin. But I'm good now, guys. I'm good. Y'all, all right, enough about my allergies. We got a lot going on tonight. So at 9.30, for about 42 minutes, <laughs> we have our episode dropping. Simone, I haven't tried Nasonex. I haven't tried Nasonex. Y'all, I already know it. Hey, man, these next, this spring out there graveyard shifting, oh, it's going to kick my butt, y'all. But I love y'all, so we're going to fight through it. I love y'all, <laughs> but we're going to fight through it. But uh, tonight, we have the Sorrell Weed House investigation video dropping at 9.30 Eastern. Y'all, I had to make it a two-parter, guys. So the first part is tonight. The, the second part is tomorrow. I ain't going to make y'all wait a week like everybody else be doing. Because that's whack. And crack is whack. So we have the first part tonight and the first part tomorrow. Lori Young, did you find your keys? I did. I did. I definitely found them, y'all. I did what somebody said. Well, I, I kind of did what somebody else says. A lot of people was like, just ask your spirit guides. Ask your spirit guides. Like, every time I lose something, I ask my guides to show me where it is. And I was like, that's kind of weird. I was like, let me, not weird, but like, let me ask God. <laughs> I don't want to bypass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's my biggest fear. Oh, Y'all, we going into like a whole nother thing. So I say all that to say, I was like, Lord, man, show me where my keys are, man. Where are my keys? And sure enough, it dropped on me like a can of bricks. So what happened was, Y'all, tissue all on my nose. What happened was, when I drove back from Savannah the other day, 
I had to immediately film a uh, paranormal caught on camera for Travel Channel. But we filmed that from our house. And uh, they give us the setup. And it's like a really big screen we have to put up. It's like a camera. Like they make us set it up somewhere in our house. And it literally dropped on me like a can of paint. It was like, go check the chair you were sitting in when you were filming that. And I went downstairs and I looked around and sure enough, under the chair was my keys. So yeah, thank y'all for who, whoever gave the advice of asking for the guidance. Now, next part of that. Yes, Ghost Rider, I am on Ghost Brothers. Right, Simone? See? Aston God, right? That's crazy how it's something that petty. Because <laughs> if I was God, I'd be like, brother, you go find your own keys. I got other stuff to worry about. But no, this is my thing about asking like psychics and mediums and I don't know. I don't know. I don't I have I guess I haven't really thought about a spirit guide. Because I feel like if I'm going to pray and ask somebody for something, it should be God and not necessarily a spirit guide. But I told y'all before about, but we have a lot of new people about the time. No problem, Randy. Thank you. Thank you, Julie. I just ate. That's why I look a little bit better tonight, lighter and happier. I literally just had some Chinese food. <laughs> House fried rice to be exact. <laughs> But no, um, when I was living in L.A., I ran across this psychic. It was a lady working on the street. I told this story before. I'm going to tell it real fast for those who never heard it before. She was working on the street uh, like she had like a she was sitting in front of like this door, like a storefront on the street. And I was walking by and she was like, hey, can I read your palm? And I was like, nah, I'm good. And she was like, the only reason why you're telling me that is because your mother has always told you never to believe in people like me. I was like, God dang. That's exactly why I'm not doing this. And she was like, I have something to tell you. Uh, they're telling me not right now, but in January, it's going to happen for you. And I was like, what? They was like, she was like, you just moved out here to Los Angeles. And whatever you moved out here for, it's not going to happen right now. It's going to happen in January. January was like five, six months later. I was like, dang, what is this lady talking about? And I was like, man, let me just go see. Man, this lady told me, she was like, there's some people that's very close to you that are very jealous of you. You're going to lose them. That's a part of life. Like, that's a part of your journey. Let it go. I was like, cool. She was like, whatever you move to L.A. for, it's going to happen in the next six months. I was like, cool. And for her to really sign it off, she told me some things about my personal life. She told me some things about my personal life that nobody knew. There's no way she could have known. And I was like, dang. And I left there and I remember calling my mom immediately like, dang, mama, I went and talked to a psychic. And she was like, what did she tell you? And I told her everything. She was like, okay. But she was like, you don't want to become reliant on this psychic above God. So you have your relationship with God. You go to him for things. You pray to him for stuff. You believe in him for things. You don't want to put man in that position. So you go to this psychic and she keeps revealing things to you that may or may not be coming to pass, but then you start relying on this person. And so instead of praying for guidance, you start going to her for guidance. And that's where the issue starts coming into play. So, yeah, so I've always just been, like, weary about stuff like that. Like, I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. But tonight's episode is at the Surreal Weed House. Two-parter. Tonight's episode is an hour. Tomorrow's episode is an hour. Melanie, thank you, love. Thank you, love. Yeah, I ain't saying, like, ain't nothing wrong with, like, Chip, Cindy, all of them. I believe in everything that they do, but that's why I don't want to be the person that, like, I'm sure they have people that, like, literally just come to them for stuff. Like, they don't even have a relationship probably with the higher being, or maybe they don't believe. And I, whatever your belief system is, but I'm just saying, 
they probably do have people that treat them like that. Like, I don't know. Star Dub, your mama told you right. Yeah, yeah, see, I ask God for big things, but I look at it as differently than y'all. Okay? Haunted Gabriel said the Protestants don't believe in praying to anyone except God. Right? Tiffany says, I got a free reading a while ago and it was horrible for my first time, but I want to try it again. You just got to be careful. You got to be careful who you letting speak. I Even as me as being a Christian, I don't even like people, like everybody praying for me, like laying hands on me. Like I'm always quick because you don't know, you don't know people's intentions. That's what's scary. You don't know people's intentions. So you got to be careful who you listen to you, who you listen to, who touches you, who's even. Let's just take it away from it. Y'all see, I still got my little murder weapon, right? The lady who sent me this in the package, I still got your daddy murder weapon. <laughs> but yeah, you just don't know. But even from a less spiritual standpoint, you have friends in your life who aren't happy for you. So if you got people that you deal with on the day to day. And you could tell them something like, oh, I just got a new job, girl. And she like, oh, OK. Or oh, you that, that little old job you got little. Old, why, why would I why would I'm doing got to be little? <laughs> you, like it be your people close to you that be hating on you. So what you think some random person could be doing or feeling some type of way about? I don't know. All right, y'all. Let's open up some shifter mail. This is from Pun Girl, Connecticut. And I am still using my present that I was gifted. Jen says when she was having a heart attack, she was praying to my grandmama. She died from a heart attack. But when I got to the hospital, I apologized to God for not praying to him first. That's dope. Rebecca, what birthday gift am I not using? <laughs> I just got this knife for my birthday. What, what, what? What you want me to use? My moon water? <laughs> That's setting up over there. The other gifts that Axel got, she played with them today. <laughs> I've been using everything. Now, the equipment that I have, that takes time. Like the spirit box, I'm not going to just break that out in a video, especially not the Sorrel Weed House video. Like, I don't have time to be trying to have a learning curve with the spirit box when I'm in like a real intense session. Thank you, Donald. So, I've been playing with the spirit box on my own. Um, the mics definitely, I'm going to start using the mics. I just ain't been nowhere to use them yet. And then the drone, I just got, I've been practicing the drone. <laughs> like the drone takes practice. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the gifts. Dalen, this is a little naughty. What? Somebody says, Dalen, this is a little naughty. Tell the kids to leave the room. All my children under the age of 18, 21 to be safe, please leave the room. Y'all, I'm nervous. <laughs> this is one of them birthday gifts you want me to use? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It says, congratulations. Uh-oh. How you opening? Hey, you be bloody beautiful bastard. A massive congratulations to you for reaching destination fucked. Whether you're engaged, getting married, having a kid, you got a bloody Valentine, it's Father's Day, it's Mother's Day, or it's just your plain old fucking birthday. Whatever it is, you could be injured, unwell, in hospital, recovering. You got a new job. I don't know your story, but congratulations and enjoy your stay in destination fucked. Well done. How you send me a birthday card that cussed me out? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Hold on. How I cut the sound off? It says, happy birthday, Dalen. Here's to another successful year. Love, love, love. I love it. I love the inappropriateness. <laughs> hey, if you can't get cussed out for your birthday, what can you do? <laughs> All right, this is from Carolyn Hilton from Pennington Gap, Virginia. Pennington Gap, Virginia. Let's go. Birthday wishes. 
Shifting ain't easy, for you shall go out in joy and be led forth in peace. The mountains and the hills before you shall break forth into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Isaiah 55, 12. May the day be the beginning of a year filled with happy memories from Carolyn Hilton. And Carolyn sent a letter. Dear Fearless Shift Leader, thank you for your gift for you. I've enjoyed many hours with the Graveyard Shift family. I do worry about your physical and spiritual. Thank you. Shifters have your back and angels have your soul. Both are watching over you, but no matter what, be very careful. Both the living and the dead have haters. Aw, thank you so much, Carolyn. Thank you, love. Hey, when y'all be writing me messages and y'all be like, with angels on my shoulder, what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean, y'all? Like, people be writing, hey, Daylin, I come to you with angels on my shoulder. I'd be like, for sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> but I never knew what that meant. This is from Bruins from Kokoda, Minnesota. It means extra protection. Okay, got you. Yep, Brenda, I did. I found my keys, Brenda. It says, so sorry for your loss of your aunt. Peace, love, and light, Michelle Bruins. Wishing the happiest of days to a wonderful person, to a wonderful people. Thank you so much, Michelle. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, what is this? We got another package. Hey, look, don't watch tonight's video and not watch tomorrow's video. Uh oh! Somebody done sent the kid a bag of Epsom salt. <laughs> Somebody, look, this how I know all of our viewers are seasoned and mature. <laughs> Y'all give mature gifts. <laughs> I'm finna use this tonight. Tonight. <laughs> We got some Epsom salt. Oh, yeah. We got the Mr. Dr. Teal sleep spray. Yeah. We got some Bio Freeze. Cool the pain. She must know my back hurt. Uh, Freeze dry treats. I don't know what this is. <laughs> the bag is a little sketchy. <laughs> but I love it all the same. Freeze dried treats. Somebody said Dr. Teal's is not your average Epsom salt. Listen, I'm on it. Y'all gonna make sure my back all right. What else we got? From Kim Deal from Cosetta, Alabama. Cosetta, Alabama. What we got, girl? But yeah, y'all, I need y'all to tune in tomorrow to watch tomorrow's video. Tonight is all the history of the place and some stuff happening. Tomorrow is the big investigation portion and stuff happening. But if I was y'all, I would Now y'all know how I feel when y'all be sending me... <laughs> y'all be sending me these packages. <laughs> okay, what we got in the box? It says, we have a Four Corners Home Blessing Kit. It got salt. Protective water, red brick. There we go. We got that. We got some sage spray. We got some sage, some homemade sage spray. <laughs> I love y'all, man. Crystal infused anti bad vibe spray. <laughs> Hold on now, man. Y'all making stuff up now. <laughs> what is crystal infused anti bad vibe spray? Heather, thank you, Heather. 
anti-bad vibe spray. <laughs> I love it. Vitamin roller balls. This has glass. I'm not going to open this, y'all. Oh, wow. What is this? Oh, you gave me cologne. <laughs> Rochelle. Oh, you must have just logged on. I told y'all about the keys a minute ago. The keys were basically under a chair in the basement because I dropped them. <laughs> Oh, you gave me cologne. This is Jasmine Musk. <laughs> this is Black Ice. Chanel number five. Okay. Okay, girl. I ain't gonna tell nobody you out here bootlegging. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell nobody you out here bootlegging. Vitamin E roller balls, y'all. This dope. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Ooh, I hate that, that squeaky sound. It burns, it hurts my ears. Is my present there? Dolores. Dolores, we got a bag full of stuff. Did you send the letter? I'm not sure, Dolores. I know I think I got something else at the mailbox, too. Hold on, y'all. Let's see where we at with it. New episode in 23 minutes, guys. This says, hi, Dale, and greetings from Liso, Alabama. I've been meaning to send this package for a while. I just keep forgetting, so happy belated birthday. What is this? Brentwood, thank you, thank you. Uh, this is dope. She's she know the summertime is coming up. Shawty got me a neck fan, y'all. DJ High Def, did you mail it in? If you mailed it in, we got it. We got it. Y'all, this is cool. This is super cool. This is so, this is a fan. So when we're out shifting, when I'm out in the hot sun, I can cut the fan on. Yeah. Yeah, look at it. Look at me. I'm cool. Oh, man. Oh man. Oh man. This make me want to go outside. Thank you so much. Jeez Louise. Hold on now. Let me get to it. Janelle, your presence is a present. And don't let nobody tell you nothing different, girl. No, that's cool. Alright, hold on, y'all. Let me let me speed it up. Let me speed it up. We only got 20 minutes. Alright, our next gift is from. Oh, no, I can't open this yet. A company wrote me and they want to sponsor a graveyard shift video. But they're like a. Uh, I don't even want to tell y'all, but they sent it to me first to try it out before I even let y'all know if we're going to fool with these people or not. But it's like a. I don't know. We gonna say this for later. Because I don't even want to promote nobody right now until I know what they're talking about. All right, next one is from Julie Harrington. Julie Harrington. Hi, Dalen. I'm in the Chamley area. I have some Easter basket from kids. Can you please shout me out? One Rima. One Rima. One Rima. Shout out to Rima with the Easter baskets. Dalen. Okay. Okay. This is cool. Boo. 
Oh, wow. Dalen, love you. Minnesota Shifter, Julie, created by my neighbor, DJ. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm keeping all of my cards, y'all. Look, I don't want y'all to forever think that I'm throwing y'all stuff away. All of these cards that y'all sent, I'm putting them on my, uh, on my dresser. All right, this is from... Uh-oh, we got a t-shirt. It didn't leave a name. No name. But what does it say? Easily distracted cemeteries. Ooh, I like that. I like that. I like it when you do that right there. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh. Okay, here's another box. Now, if I didn't open up your gift, or if you don't see your gift, there's still stuff at the P.O. box. I got another notification. Let's see what this is. This says... Happy birthday, Dalen, for shifting in the woods. From Brentwood. Brentwood, here go your gift right here, shouty. Here you go right here, Brentwood. Y'all, this is from Brentwood. Happy birthday, Dalen, for shifting in the woods. Let's see. Ooh, Brentwood, I'm excited. I'm excited, girl. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Hold on. Let me tell you why I like using my little old murder weapon. I ain't even have to just use it now. It, it got a Ziploc bag. I just felt like cutting it. I just wanted to cut something. Y'all, I... Oh! Oh! Is it two of them? Oh, this is super cool. What is this? How do I use it? What is it? Brentwood, what is it? What do I, how? I'm gonna Google it. <laughs> I'm gonna Google it. What is it? It's Nate Gaither. Brent, Brentwood, let me tell you how much of a city boy I am. <laughs> I was like, oh, look at this little briefcase I got. <laughs> look at this little briefcase I got. <laughs> Y'all, this protect me from snake bites. I'm childish. <laughs> I would have been in the woods <laughs> holding this like a man bag. <laughs> oh, Sonia. Thank you for the t-shirt, Sonia. You didn't have your name on it. Thank you, Sonia. Y'all. I would have had this like a man bag. I would have been, y'all would have saw me talking about some. Welcome to another graveyard shift. I'm your fearless shift leader, Dalen. <laughs> Thank you, Brentwood. <laughs> I'm childish. Y'all know I ain't never been camping. Okay, corners up. This is from Sandy Wright. Sandy Wright, Las Vegas. No, yeah, because I plan on hitting a lot of uh, wooded areas. And y'all know the spring is up and snakes going to be out. And now I got my little man purse. <laughs> Them snakes ain't going to touch your boy. What you say? Thank you for being you and for all you do. Shifter for life. Proud to be a future ghost. Sandy Wright. Happy birthday, Dayla. Celebrate you. Oh, moving groove, shucking job, wiggling giggle. Thank you so much, Sandy. Put that in the card, pal. All right, we got Betty Curling. Betty Curling. Betty Curling. Betty Curling. 
Y'all gonna keep asking about that. That's how I can tell y'all be clocking in late. Y'all keep asking about them damn keys. Yes, I found them. <laughs> Dear Daylin, I love watching Ghost Brothers Graveyard Shift. Let's just say anything paranormal. I think you and Stacy make a cute couple and Axel is adorable. Forgive me, I have your baby's name wrong. Girl, you didn't. You said it right and you spelled it right. Uh, I definitely believe in ghosts. I sent you a picture I took in my living room. Ain't no picture in here. The picture didn't make it. Melanie, thank you, love. The picture didn't make it. No, the picture didn't come. The picture didn't come, but thank you. All right, Brenda, Brenda Pinpin, pin, pin. Russellville, Arkansas. You up next. Y'all, we got 14 minutes into the episode. 14 minutes. I need everybody to move on over to the episode. Ooh, this is cool. This is cool. Dear Dalen, I hope you get this by your birthday. Thank you for bringing so much joy to so many people's lives. It has been an amazing watching your channel become the home of the graveyard ship. You have so many subscribers from around the world. It's fun to see who checks in. People who are elderly, disabled, and homebound are given an outlet to interact with the shifting community. You really don't understand the full impact of that choice. Dang, that's sweet. My husband, Larry, and I have acquired some equipment for shifting. We went on our first shift at the resting area where my grandparents are buried. Brenda and Aggie are mentoring us, and they have their own channel. Thank you so much. This means protection bracelets, Black Obsidian, Tiger Eye, and Hermonite. I got to protect. Ooh. Look how sharp that knife is. Hey, I know for sure her granddaddy killed at least three people with this knife. I feel it. I feel the. I feel the energy. And a knife don't stay that sharp without catching a body or two. Y'all, hold on. Let me put my bracelet on. Let me put my protection bracelet on. Tiger's eye, black obsidian, and hermonite. Yeah. Che Ch Chelsea, I ain't gonna hurt. I ain't gonna hurt myself. I am. Prof Listen, I am proficient. Oh, this is a nice card. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. May all your dreams come true. The best birthday wishes to you. Happy birthday to Dauntless Dalen, our fearless shift leader. Love, Brenda. Thank you, Brenda. Say, this bracelet kind of heavy. I'm going to use this as some brass knuckles. This is how I'm going to wear my protection. I'm going to wear my protection bracelet like this. <laughs> Y'all keep sending me weapons. <laughs> I'm gonna wear my protection bracelet like this. What did I say? I said Hermonite. Listen, she wrote it, y'all. That's what. I... What you said is, hey, Shawty, look, I just read what she wrote. Excuse me for I misread it. Hematite. <laughs> Hem hem hemorrhoids. Hematitis, hepatitis, whatever it is, say it don't matter what it is, because I guarantee, I guarantee it's going to hit the same. It's going to hit the same. It's going to feel like some hemorrhoids <laughs> when it hits you. <laughs> Y'all stop playing with me. Y'all stop being funny. I'm trying to be serious and y'all be, I blame, you know what? It's people like y'all that got me, got me in trouble all through high school. I try to tell my mama, mama, it is them. <laughs> they egging me on. <laughs> I was a kid where the teacher used to always had to move me from sitting, sitting next to somebody. But no matter where you move me in the room, I know somebody. <laughs> no, you, you might as well just let me teach the class, baby. Okay. Okay. All right. Who is this from? Miss Anita Timmons. Anita from Ohio. Here's hoping you'll find happiness in all you do. Dalen, love Anita. Anita, what you seeing, girl? Hold on. Hold on, girl. Huh? 
So these are handwritten notes, I think, that she took on some episodes. Dale and I have been seeing spirits since Grandpa Martin's passed away. Back then, it was just loved ones I hear. Grandpa hated my dad. My dad was so scared to death of Grandpa, he put a knife to his throat. It wasn't this one, was it? Said, I can remember this thing clear at two years old. It freaked my mom. Oh, wow. Okay, Anita, this is serious. I'm going to read this. I'm going to read this when I get off air. But you have crazy place to check out. Destination Fear, Dakota Landing. Oh, okay. So this is some recommendations and some notes. But it says, I love old coins and $2 bills as gifts. Also sending you a card from my daughter. Your coin will be in it. Okay. Okay. Hold on, y'all. Episode. <gasps> y'all. Now, this is player. This is player. Shawty sent about five $2 bills. <laughs> I never told anybody this. Where's my wallet? My wallet's not in here. I always keep a $2 bill in my wallet for good luck. I've always have, I always will. And I always like, when I'm driving and there's like uh, someone that's asking for money on the side of the road, I try to always give them a $2 bill sometimes. Like, how you say I try to always give them something sometimes? <laughs> a lot of times I try to give away my $2 bill. Cause I don't know, I just always look at a $2 bill as like a blessing or a good luck. And the last guy, I actually gave one away like two days ago. That's crazy. I gave one away two days ago and I've been blessed like ten, ten, tenfold. <laughs> uh, but I gave it to a guy on the side of the road and he told me he wasn't going to spend it. He was like, I'm not going to spend that. He was like, this is a two dollar bill. I'm not going to spend it. I thought that that was player. All right. We got eight minutes. Y'all, this is from Tammy Brisky, Las Vegas, Nevada. What you send out to the universe finds its way back to you literally, apparently. Stormy, right? That's crazy because I wasn't even thinking about it. But as I was looking at it, I, it dropped on me like, damn, I literally just gave dude my $2 bill. And I was just thinking after I gave it to him, like, damn, I need to find out how to, I need to get another $2 bill. That's dope. Ooh, look at this. Wanda said she had a $2 bill that sold for $50,000. Look, if one of these $2 bills sell for $50,000, listen, if y'all don't see me for a couple weeks, <laughs> just be like, he must have sold that $2 bill for $50,000. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. That's cool. My face on the birthday cake. That's solid. That's solid. Hi, Daylin. I've been a fan since the first time I watched Ghost Brothers, I enjoy watching you, Marcus, and Juwan. I like your YouTube channel and look forward to future projects. Oh, she put her face on my, on the, uh, ah, look at you, girl. What up, Road Warrior? Thank you so much for that. All right, y'all, I got two more in hand, and there's a couple more at the post office. So two more for the night, and the episode drops in five minutes. Let's see who this is from. You're the kind of nice that comes from the heart. You're the kind of funny that people can relate to. You're the kind of smart that good advice is made of. Dear Daylin, I'm so thankful for discovering one of your The Graveyard Shift videos on YouTube in September of 2023. Took one video and I was hooked. Ended up watching all of your Ghost Brothers too, and I enjoy all your YouTube channels. You're so funny and sweet. You're full of love and kindness for the living and the dead. Keep being you. Oh, this is from Lazaria. Lazaria, what's up, girl? I just saw you in the chat. Oh, that's you right there. Lazaria, thank you. You're the kind of person who brightens, who brightens people's lives and spirits, and you're wished the best kind of birthday anyone could ever hope for. Warmest wishes, Lazaria. Grave shifter from California. Thank you, Lazaria. You're the best. Well, you one of the best, because we don't play favorites over here. You're the best. No, I'm just playing. One more, y'all, and we getting up out of here, because our, our shift drops. And I already know we probably going to have some mixed emotions about this one, but that's okay. This is from Penny Edwards from Middleville, Michigan. 
Where my shank at? This is a shankable letter. Deanna, graveyard shifter from Southern California. Yay. What is this? Penny, you done gave me some nunchucks? Oh no, what is this? What is this? What is this? Dear fearless shift leader, wish you a happy birthday many years ago and don't grow old. This necklace is for you with a dog whistler. It was a screw just for you to blow. Oh, it's a dog whistle. Y'all, look who done showed up. Looking like a dad, looking like Barney. <laughs> looking like Barney. <laughs> I love you. You love me. We're a Stacy, I'm working, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> We're working, Stacy. <laughs> Mark, what up, Mark? Thank you, Mark. Y'all do not encourage Stacy in her foolishness. <laughs> we over here talking about dog whistles. <laughs> Y'all, Tito and Taco in the other room. I kind of want to blow this and see if they can hear it. I'm going to do it just because I'm that guy. They were upstairs. I hear their feet. That's funny. I heard them moving. <laughs> I heard them moving. I heard them moving. But yeah, y'all. Stacy out here looking like a, a, a Crown Royal bag. Drink. <laughs> Stacy out here looking like a crown royal bag, y'all. <laughs> All right, y'all. We got two. We got two and a half minutes. Thank y'all, everybody that sent in my birthday gifts from my dog whistle to my brass knuckles to my protection kits to my shank. <laughs> What else y'all done gave me, man? Oh, my fan, my neck fan. My neck fan. What else we got? My t-shirts. <laughs> my t-shirts. My homemade, my homemade anti-anti-vibe spray. <laughs> y'all, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm gonna take these two dollar bills to the strip club. Did I just say that out loud? <laughs> I'm just playing, y'all. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing, everybody. <laughs> uh, just Oh, don't forget the Epsom salt. Don't forget the Epsom salt. Don't forget. I had a great... No, I was just talking about that earlier. I said, man, this might be the best birthday I've had. Just from y'all, my wife. She gave me a birthday dinner. <sighs> They got me a cake on this other project that I was filming. Like, y'all, y'all make my heart smile. Y'all mean the world to me. I appreciate y'all. Seriously, my bra money. You know about bra money, Donna. <laughs> Donna know about that bra money. <laughs> Melanie, you so sweet, girl. Thank y'all so much, y'all. Hey, don't forget, tomorrow, we're going to go live tomorrow before part two of the Surreal Weed House shift, too. So, yeah. We'll go live tomorrow, and our new video is about to air in a couple seconds. So, I will meet you all <coughs> over on the live chat. Actually, if you just stay on this chat, it's going to bring you to the next video. As soon as I hang up, which is right now. See you later.